Hi guys, this is Bandicat. Welcome back to another pet video. Um, in this video, I will be showing you my hamster's habitat, I guess, kind of cage. Um, so I am using a different camera just for this video only. I could not find my um, camera charger for my camera battery charger for my other camera, so I have to use this camera. So I think it'll only be for this video only, so I'm sorry if this looks weird. Another apology, I'm sorry if you he hear any gerbil wheels or fish tank bubbling noises in the background because Yahtzee is being particularly noisy right now. Uh, so yeah, so let's get on with the hamster tank tour. I live in a Sterilite Ultra, um, a latch bin. So it's 33 by 20, by 20 and 1 8, but about 20, um, by 13 and a half. So I think it's about, it's around 600 square inches, uh, give or take a bit, because I think when I calculated it out, it was 627 square inches. But I didn't, I just used these measurements and you always want to measure from the inside of the tank just because those measurements are usually on the outside of the tank. But I'll put a little number on screen now saying how many square inches it is based on the outside tank measurements. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is going to be a cage tour, but uh, there's no theme right now. This is just kind of a basic one. I'm sorry that this is taking so long to get into, but anyway... Let's get into it. So, this is a 600 square inch DIY bin cage for my two Roborowski dwarf hamsters. And yes, I do have two now. It was my birthday a few weeks ago. Um, I'll post an update video. Um, so, this house is Biscuit, who is over there, and Cinnamon, who I think is in there. And I'm just going to get started with the cage door. So the first thing that you can notice is that there are two 6.5 inch silent spinners. And this one's a little broken because um, I dropped it. But this one's perfectly fine and it's really silent and I like them a lot. And now you can you can get 4 inch silent spinners for robos, robos in particular. But I like giving them a bit of a bigger wheel just to make sure that um, it doesn't hurt their back. And over here, I do only have one water bottle, but they don't fight over it, and they did choose to make their nest under it. Right now, um, Cinnamon is out, but usually they both sleep under there. And then over here, I thought this was really cute. Um, this is from PetSmart, and it's just a little car, corrugated cardboard thing. And I have the Ocean Wave for my gerbils, but I just got the little truck, I guess, for my hamsters. And then, that was from PetSmart, and then this, with a few of the other items in the tank, are is from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. And that is a shop that's online that is based around rabbits in particular, but they do have some rodent stuff. And um, they are based in Canada, but they do ship to the U.S., and I do think they also ship internationally, um, depending on where you live. So I got this, and Cinnamon really enjoys that. He likes going through it, and then he, I also saw him on top of the truck earlier today. Then this is their food dish, and I, sorry. And then I have to, I haven't filled it up and emptied it today yet. Well, emptied it and then filled it up yet today. So they have two. So this is a little apple one that I got from Goodwill. And then this is just a plain dish that I got from PetSmart. And then there's this really cute rainbow bridge, which is also from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. And it was really adorable, and I just got it because I thought that they would like it. Um, throughout the tank, I have various chew toys. This one I drilled a hole in, um, just so that I could hang it in a kebab if I um, had one in this tank, but I don't right now. This Then over here, we have an Ecotrician Snack Shack log. And you don't want to give them to the... Uh, you don't want to give this to them 24-7 if they're constantly chewing on it. But I haven't seen either one of them chew on it, so that way I can leave it in the tank full-time. Because I know that they're not ingesting um, it all because it is a treat, technically, and it does have honey in it, which is high in sugar. So you don't want to leave that in 24-7 Sorry, 24 /7 if they're chewing on it. Then over here, this is a Oxbow Timothy... Hey, I think kind of house and 
I have seen Cinnamon inside it. Well, I, I'm saying all these toys are... Cinnamon really likes all these toys. But I find that Biscuit really enjoys the wheels in particular and this food bowl. And that is basically Biscuit's favorite toys. But Cinnamon likes basically everything. Then over here, this is a corn leaf and loofah toy. And it's also from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. And what you do is you put treats in it. And then when they play with it, it randomly dispenses treats. I haven't put any of them in it just because I don't think they're really going to play with it. It's more for a decoration purpose. And then over here, I have a National Geographic, I think it is, a National Geographic uh, Bendy Bridge. And let me see if I can find a cinnamon here. Um, it, does, it looks like he buried himself in bedding, so I don't think we'll see a cinnamon in there. But I'm pretty sure he's in there. Um, and I think I covered basically everything in this tank. So, I'm sorry that I was kind of like, it took so long to get into this video, and then the actual video itself was pretty brief. But, um, and so yeah, I will have a welcome video for Cinnamon up soon. Hopefully within this same week, I hope. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Have a joytastic day, and I'll see you later. Bye!